to come you to this workshop, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Now, before we uh, proceed on to you, sir, like quick brief introduction of Mukesh sir to other participants. Now, sir has completed B.Tech in Civil Engineering from Jawaharlal uh, Jawahar Technological University, Anantapuram. And uh, sir is working as support engineer in e-surveying soft tech India Private Limited from past three years. And uh, sir has worked on products like water network and water distribution and e-survey structure. Now, with this brief introduction, uh, once again, I welcome you to this uh, ATAL workshop, sir. So now with this, I request you to uh, take over the session, sir. Sir, thank you, sir. Good morning to each one and of you. And thank you for giving me this opportunity. Sir, you can have your presentation uh, displayed. Uh, you have been assigned as presenter. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Sir, now can you able to see my screen, sir? Yeah, yes, sir. Your uh, screen is presented and your voice is also clearly audible. Okay. Thank you, sir. Good morning, everyone. A warm welcome you all to a wonderful session on e-survey structure. And e-surveying Softech is a 14-year-old company. And it is a prestigious firm with base in Bangalore. Its rise and escalation has both lent and exchanged better information and technology with the community. It's a 14 year old company providing quality solutions for the infra industry. And it is a completely made in India product. And what all the products we are, uh, it is a, we are hundred percent Indian based company and we are providing solutions for the surveying and road designs and water designs and e survey structures and other productivity tools. And we have encouraged by the, our Indian engineers and surveyors contributing to the their infra industry tremendously for its case use and most economical pricing without compromising Indian standards. We have more than 3000 plus firms having endorsed our products for its capability to achieve a great fast and design approach. We have the products like e-survey road infra suit, e-survey water infra suit, e-survey structure, e-survey civil tools, and e-survey trans and other productivity tools as well. Like we are providing solutions for the different kind of things like uh, contours, earthworks, and road sections, canal sections, different kind of, we are providing the design solutions for the different in infra engineering industries. And in e-survey structure, we are providing the drawings for the different structural drawings, infrastructural drawings with the scale with minimal inputs and providing the quality solutions for the pipe culverts, box culvert, vehicular under, underpass structures, and railway box culvert. This is about the company profile and we are uh, now we going to see how the pipe culvert will be generated and box culvert will be generated and how, what are the things we require. If you have any doubts, you can, uh, you can call to this number and you can mail us and please visit our website for more information. E survey structure consistent of four different modules pipe culvert, box culvert, underpasses, and railway culvert. In case of pipe culvert, pipe culvert is a structure which will be used for the transforming of water from upstream side to downstream side without disturbing the structure, without disturbing the road structure. We will construct the pipe culvert. And while generating the pipe culvert drawing, we need the proper prepared data for the generating of structure. In that condition, we need to prepare some data, preparation of input data, and we need to do some settings. After that, layer settings, bulk generation, and we have how to generate pipe culvert, those things we have. Once we done all these settings, we will generate the pipe, and how to present the data, we need to give some road input. After that, we need to give like median width, carriage width, paved shoulder, certain shoulder, Basically, it is a road template with this. We can able to give the road details. For the structure to generate 
and this is a typical road cross section and we need to give the details of the pipe as per the sp13 we need to give the pipe details like uh, thickness of the pipe either it should be non pressure pipe class 3 or class 4 and what is the how much bedding we need to provide the pipe above and below and additional width provide to the pipe those things we will give in this particular pipe template and after that we need to give the like invert level and bed level finished road level with that we can able to generate the drawing as much as possible and we need to do some general settings and after that we have different layer concepts and with that we can able to do different layer things and whenever we have like bulk generation things we have we will generate more number of drawings at a time like that we have so many uh, unique features with this structure software we can able to see one by one like uh, for suppose we have an alignment 10 kilometer alignment we can able to generate each and every drawing every time it will cause lot of problem to the user for that we are providing an excel template solution for the user to he can able to give the excel excel template in their uh, into our software with that we can able to generate n number of drawings at a time with the proper inputs and once we once we done all the settings, we will give the FRL value and we will enter the details and we will get drawings like lawn drawing, cross section drawing, side view drawing, detail view drawing like this. And if in case of any existing culvert will be there, already there will be, it is a two lane road or PM GSY road. We need to widening the structure. In that condition, we want to do for the existing case or culvert widening case. In that condition also our software will support for the existing widening case also if in case of some any eccentric widening required in that condition it will support for eccentric widening as well this is about the pipe culvert we have one more module we have that is a box culvert in the box culvert also the details will be same like road template will be same instead of pipe structure when we have huge huge quantity of stream will be there in that condition pipe can't be retained in that condition we will use the box kind of structure and with that we can able to transfer off the stream water into upstream side to downstream side and we before generating of any structure we need to give some proper details like preparation of input data settings and layout settings bulk generation settings like that we need to do and here we are providing solutions for the reinforcement details as well as the reinforcement quantity of when we place the bars how what length bar bending schedule everything will be done through this software and we need to give the road details like what is the median width what is the crash barrier width those things we will done from the road inputs like and we need to give the box details like thickness of the slab and what is the clear width what is the clear height and what are the hunch dimensions either we are generating structure with the retaining wall or wing wall it will possibility to support different types of wing walls like it will support for the retaining wall and it will support for the wing wall as well and we need to give the details like finish road level finish road level and invert level based on that we can able to decide the structure my box should be how much height it should be there and what is the width of the box how much discharge you are getting from that we can able to generate and we can able to decide how many boxes we require and like that we can able to make the things and here we have the settings template we have in the settings template like approach slab approach slab dimensions flexible apron thickness floor apron thickness and box dimensions and if in case of box gradient how much gradient we need to follow for the safe transferring of stream water those things we can able to turn from here and after that we have layered concept we have with that we can able to change each and every legends and hatch types hatch materials and texture sizes here we are generating all the drawings with the scale with respect to scale we are generating and we can able to change each and every hatch pattern we can able to change and we can able to change each text size if suppose we want to generate structure for one in 100 scale for the same scale we can't able to use one in 200 250 scale drawing we can't able to same text in that condition we are providing provision for the changing of texture size also 
and here we we can able to generate the drawing in different templates uh, we can able to generate bulk generation drawings through the software and whenever we want to whenever we want reinforcement drawings in that condition we need to give the reinforcement details like what is the covers and what are the bars we are using for the different types of slabs slabs what is the dia of bars what is the spacing all the things we can able to done from here if in case of any high skew will be there we can able to generate for the mesh bars as well and concealed beam bars everything we can able to done from here and we will get uh, report quantity report also we will get from here bar name and dia of bar length of each individual bar number of bars total length of bar total volume we will get it from here and now we will go for the actual presentation of the software and here we have four types of models we have like as we discussed pipe culvert box culvert vehicular underpass and railway culvert when we go for the pipe culvert we need to give the basic road details like uh, if we have four lane road two lane road six lane road like median width we need to give it median width shyness width carriage way width carriage way camber if in case of any super elevation will be there in our road structure we can able to make it this one to positive value it will generate for the positive camber then it will be designed for the super elevation case as well then we need to give the details of the paved shoulder and earth and shoulder earth and shoulder camber values and side slope values here for sample purpose we are providing some uh, some different roads we are shown as per our requirement we can able to change all these values and whenever we want different template for that we can able to differ uh, by clicking of new option we can able to different and here we can able to generate different libraries and after that we have the pipe details we have here we we are classifying the pipe either the pipe should be np3 pipe or np4 pipe and dia of pipe how much and thickness of the pipe how much manufacturing length if in case of two pipes three pipes will be there and what is the gap between the pipes and what is the bedding we need to provide here we are classifying the structure into three categories one is height of fill below 0.6 and 0.6 to 4 meter and 4 to 8 meter what is the bedding we need to provide below the pipe and above the pipe what is the fill material we are using everything we can able to define from here once we done road settings and pipe settings we have normal settings we have from the normal settings like head wall dimension how much and what is the head wall slope factor and what is the soil slope what kind of material we are using for the head wall either it should be pcc or rcc and what is the down, downstream apron upstream apron and encasing and how doctrine how we are protecting the structure everything we will done from the settings and we have the layer settings we have layer settings is nothing but like our drawing will be what scale it need to be generated like what legend it need to be generated and what hatch pattern it is required here we can able to change each and every legend we can able to change like pipe layer and different hatch patterns we have like based on the type of material we are using we can able to change the all hatch pattern and here we are defining the hatch scale and line type and line weight everything we can able to define from here here we can able to define all the line weight and here we have text settings we have we can able to change each and every text style and we can able to give the font size font width factor based on our requirement we can able to make all the changes we can able to make once we done all the setting we will come to know what is the standard of settings we require we can make this particular setting as a default settings whenever we want to generate whenever we want to create new file whenever we want to generate very new drawing in that condition it will take all these settings and it will generate the structure as per that particular standards once we done all the settings we will select as a road type and we will select as a pipe type and we will give the frl value and we will give chainage value and we will give the invert level value and we will select the template either in what template my drawing need to be printed 
we will select the template and we will generate the drawing like this we will get the plan drawing and side view drawing detail view drawing cross section drawing if in case of we required two pipes three pipes we can able to make number of pipes as a two and if in case of any skew angle will be there based on the road alignment the skew structures also may come in that condition what skew it need to be there and we can represent the skew angle for suppose we have 20 degree skew we can able to represent the skew angle and we can able to generate the drawing and here length of pipes everything we will get like square length skew length all the things we will get it from the software and height of fill we we know the area of the section and we know the height of fill with that we can able to calculate the quantities as well and whenever we have rw constraints will be there like uh, my pipe length will be left side 9.699 meter and right side will be 9.692 meter as per my rw constraints i can't able to construct my pipe to 9.699 meter due to the rw constraints rw in the sense road offset width in that condition my uh, road will be allowed us to construct up to 9.5 meter only in that condition we can able to restrict option restrict option with that we can able to restrict the pipe up to 9.5 meter only now my pipe length i am getting it as a 9.5 meter this side when we want to restrict both side also we can able to make it and one side also we can able to make it as per our requirement and whenever we have existing condition we have we can able to generate for existing condition as well and we need to require some existing structure details we will require whenever we want to generate existing structure as side condition we need to get the existing details like inward level existing inward level we will require it and what is the distance from proposed center line it should be there we can we want to know and after that what is the width of existing structure we we will give and with that we can able to generate the existing structure as well like this and whenever we want to change the things we can able to change it as per the it will change the, all the dimensions of the structure and whenever we have the retaining condition will be there like eccentric widening case will be there we can able to generate for eccentric, eccentric widening case also like this is my head wall structure my head wall will be in the it will uh, it will support for the present condition also the quality of the structure will be good in that condition i don't want to construct any new head wall in that particular location i can able to retain my existing head wall with that i can able to generate the structure as well this is the existing retaining condition and after that whenever as per sp13 if the cushion less than 0.6 meter we need to provide the encasing like whenever heavy vehicle will move on the structure it will burst the pipe and it will crush the pipe in that condition we need to provide some support to the pipe condition that one we call it as the encasing we will provide the encasing provision in this software whenever the cushion we will get less than 0.6 meter the encasing will be generated automatically here we are providing encasing it as a rcc slab we are providing encasing as well my height of fill will be less than 0.6 meter that way it is generated automatically as per the sp standards and we have option for the bulk generation bulk generation is the excel template which we are providing for the like whenever we want to generate more drawings at a time and we will use this excel template like we need to fill the all the changes and road types and pipe types and camber values and frl values like a number of pipes in what level restricted pipelines template everything we will do and we will export to this particular folder where it need to be generated we will select
matrix. Now here I am given the four structures. Once we enter the structures, it will automatically will. Is there any error will be there? It will detect. And when we want to change anything, it will. We can able to change it from here. Like I want to change my template to a a three to a a two. We can able to change anything. And here values also we can able to change. Downstream side we can able to change. And where it need to be generated, we will select from here. And we will generate the drawings. Once the drawing generation will be completed, we will get the message like that. And here we we can able to get the all the drawings as well as the report. Like changes, road type. This is our input template. With that, along with that, we will get the additional report like height of fill, how much, pipe length, how much, and additional heights, how much, additional lengths, how much, and in what level, in what level values. For quantity calculation, we will get all these things, and we will get the drawings as well. Long drawing. Side view drawing, detail view drawing, cross section drawing. Like that, we have different things we have. And this is about the pipe culvert. And we have box culvert as well. In the box culvert, road details will be same like as a pipe culvert. Like what is the median width, what is the shyness. Based on our requirement, we will fill the template. And what is the carriage by width, carriage by camber, pivot shoulder, and depth and shoulder, side slope values. So everything we can able to done it from here. And after that, we have the box details we have. Like in the box details, like what is the clear width of the box, clear height of the box, bottom slab projections. Like box specifications we will define from here. And we have arch dimensions as well. Whenever the box size will increase, as well as with respect to our box size, my my arch dimensions also going to change. And either we are using retaining wall or wing wall, we can able to define from here. And whenever we don't want any drainage ports or approach slab floor floor apron, flexible apron, sweep holes, everything we can able to run from here. And we have the reinforcement template we have. In the reinforcement template, like what is the clear cover? And clear cover, it should be how much on earth and side and non earth and side. If here, the whenever the flow water, stream water will come, here the scoring will be more. That's why we are providing more uh, cover on the bottom side of the box. And here we, we don't get that much of the thing. For that, we, we want for the less cover only. We are providing for provision for all earth inside cover, we can able to make it. Whenever we don't want, we will give in provision for the outer wall, earth face also, we will consider it as a non earth inside and we will generate the drawing. That kind of provision also we have. And after that, we have top slab, what are the bars we need to use for the top slab, like uh, top slab outer bar we have. This is the top slab and we, we what are the bars we are using in the for we are used in the top slab, like top slab, what is the dia bar with respect of spacing and top slab outer distribution bar with respect of spacing, inner bar with respect of spacing, like cutel cutel bars, like that for top slab, bottom slab, wall bars, shear key, bottom hunch, corner bars, like each and every bar, we are using all these bars with respect of dia and spacing and here in case of skew. We are defining the limit of high skew detailing limit. High skew detailing limit is the like up to certain angle. We don't differ the structure with respect of normal structure and skew structure. If the beyond that what angle we are providing the structure as a skew structure. Those things we will define from here. Like this is the high skew detailing limit beyond my skew angle beyond this particular limit. All the drawings will be generated like as a skew drawing. If 
the my sq angle will be less than this particular angle all the drawings will be normal drawings only with respect to sq all the drawings will be parallelized and we can able to provide the concealed beam bars and mesh bars whenever the structure will be in case of sq with the optic corners whenever the vehicle will pass on the structure the optic corners will going to get lifted due to the vehicle loads in that condition we will provide the mesh bars and we have normal settings we have like approach slab dimensions floor aprons flexible aprons box slopes bed projections and whenever we want to restrict those conditions also we have like parapet wall settings and what is our protection material like parapet wall railing crash barrier guard stone w beam everything will be done from here and we have the shear key settings as well and layer settings texture styles texture things we can able to done here also and once we done all these settings we will select the road type and we will select the box type and we will give the frl value and we will give the change value and we will select the template which reinforcement the template i need to use and we will select the reinforcement template and in what level we need to give it and we will select the template and we will generate the drawing this is a wing wall condition lawn drawing cross section drawing detail view drawing bottom haunch top haunch shear key side view if my height of wheel value less than 0.6 meter in that condition there will be provision for the approach slab as well now my structure will be generated with the approach slab we will get the drain spots this is a approach slab section and approach slab thickness and approach slab base pieces the thickness as per our requirement we can able to define from the settings and whenever we want to generate our structure with the wing wall those possibility also we have this is the retaining wall condition 